Hello everyone, uh, Gooey here. We're back again, doing another Legend of Zelda mailbag. Um, you know, the asking for a themed question topic worked out really well. I've got a lot of great questions here about movies. Um, <laughs> so let's just keep that going. Why don't we make it, uh, in the spirit of this theme, leave questions about TV. Let's talk about TV shows. Why not? Um, we're now heading over to level six, which we've passed by before already on our way to get this, uh, magical sword. So it shouldn't be too long of a trek. Let's get pop on over there um in the meantime maybe let's take a look at a question a new bite asks well first says because i asked for favorite movies also leave a comment with your favorite tv show and uh ask me a question about that about tv a new bite says my favorite movies are the lord of the rings trilogy and my favorite standalone movie is inception nice nice um, to stay on theme, what's your favorite movie about lizards? Uh, because of course we were playing the, the lizard, just a wonderful dungeon. Favorite movie about lizards? Well, you know, the, uh, you know, the ultimate movie lizard is of course Godzilla. You can't deny that. Um... What am I doing? <laughs> I'm like getting the magical sword. Your question was so good that I uh, just walked right past the dungeon. So, uh, yeah, of course, you know, Godzilla is kind of a legend. Here we are, level six. Um, here's, a, here's a place you can get messed up. Uh, if you go over here. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. We're in trouble here. These are some tough customers, too. So if I die in this dungeon, oh boy. So yeah, Godzilla, you know, the first Godzilla movie I ever saw. You got a key, you can use it. Over here, we just get a little aim at the eyes of Goma. <laughs> but otherwise, if you come over here, you're really not getting much. <clears throat> First Godzilla movie I ever saw um, when I was a kid, obviously, was the uh, Matthew Broderick one, and uh, I loved it, but, you know, obviously, uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's held up for me. Uh, I watched it a, a few years ago and remember being like, oh, yeah, this, you know, I mean, it has a bad reputation. It's uh, not really a hot take or anything but um obviously like the original Godzilla is cool um and then I, I actually have uh, a VHS box set of some uh, some classic ones but uh you know I, I'm not as like familiar with the history I've watched a few of them and my, my one buddy is a big Godzilla fan oh my gosh I'm getting blasted Here's a trick. You just wait in a like-like, because you can't get hurt in a like-like. <laughs> Don't worry, we got potions. Um, but yeah, you know, the classic Godzillas have all been cool that I've seen, but um, I'm still kind of uh, familiar familiarizing myself with that series, so I'm not an expert by any means. This is a hard dungeon to uh, answer questions in. Do I want to burn a potion yet? I could just die. Oh god. Okay. You know what? Let's potion. Uh, I also like the more... Well, it's it's not that new now, but the somewhat recent uh, Shin Godzilla I thought was really good. Um, and... Uh, what weapon do we want? Boomerang, probably? 
Gliak, you know, we can't really do much against this guy, but... Let's just, uh, brute force it. Yeah. You know, all the, like, I liked... The American Godzillas, you know... That's what everyone says, that they're not really as, uh... Good, but... And I kind of agree, but... I did kind of like the Kong vs. Godzilla movie. Oh, we got the map here. See, I'm trying to... I'm actually trying to do this and remember... Because I normally just do it like the going fast way. So here I'm trying to like fully explore, but... It's a little bit hard to remember. Like where not to go. It's kind of an extra trick. We might die. Oh, fairy, that's good. Here we're gonna get the magic rod. Does that even work on the... I don't know if that works on the wizard robes. But yeah, I didn't really... I mean, the the one that's just called Godzilla. It's, it's alright. The Godzilla King of Monsters. thought that was... Horrible, I thought. But, um, you know, not a hot take there. Well, maybe let's take another question. Greg's Retro Gaming Channel says, My favorite movie is The Wizard of Oz. Oh, that's a, a fantastic choice. Uh, who is your favorite movie villain? Ooh. Oh, that's a really good question. Hmm. Oh, man. That's really hard. Oh, I should try this. Nope. Yeah, you can't hurt him with that. These guys, they know magic. They can't get hurt by magic. What, are you kidding me? Um. Wow, this is really killing me. I really like, um... In movies with villains, come to think of it, I really like, um... Like... I was just watching the other day a movie like, uh, Point Break or whatever, where, um, there is a villain, but, like, the story kind of relies on the, uh, the main sort of character, like, uh, almost bonding <laughs> with the villain, if that makes sense. So, like, in Point Break, you sort of have the, uh, the relationship between uh, Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze, uh, or I always think of uh, in a uh, pretty good knockoff of it, the Fast and the Furious, um, the sort of uh, undercover cop criminal f friendship between uh, Paul Walker and Vin Diesel kind of has a similar thing. Look at my safe strats here. What do you think? I'm pretty impressed. Oh, crap. Oh, darn. Let's do a little bit of backtracking here. If I survive this room, here's a little backtracking tip. You can just blow up this wall here. Oh, but of course, there's bad boys everywhere. Might as well use up another potion on this backtrack. Hoping for better luck. Oh, okay. So yeah, movie villains, um... <laughs> I have a hard time with, like, favorites, like, off the top of my head, I guess. Maybe that's a... I set myself up for that, but... Yeah, I kind of like those kind of things. Uh, like, yeah, I don't know. Villains is tough because some movies I like you don't even think of have like a traditional, you know, villain or, or whatever. Uh, let's go to Joe Savigny says my favorite movie series would be Lord of the Rings. Aha, another one. Well, that's a great one. But again, another one where I'm like movie villain. You know, it's not really like. Uh, well, anyway. <laughs> Uh, standalone movie, The Man from Earth. Okay, okay, I like that. Um, 
the man from earth that's um wasn't i wait am i confusing this with a, a different movie no the man from earth of course this was um i covered this <laughs> okay i wanted to make sure that was one that is an awesome movie um very unique cool movie definitely highly recommend the man from earth good unique pick there a uh, very interesting movie um in your opinion what is the worst star trek movie uh if you were the ceo of paramount would you greenlit the section 31 movie well, i think by the time of this is recording they they said something's happening with that right so or a fourth movie in the kelvin timeline assuming you can only choose one because of the costs um so i think the worst star trek movie is a kelvin <laughs> timeline movie uh star trek into darkness uh which <laughs> at the time i remember liking and i saw it in theaters a bunch but then upon like late re later reevaluation and seeing it years down the road i was like what is this crap <laughs> uh what was i thinking type situation so um that one i would say is definitely the worst um in terms of between the two of those so i actually even though <laughs> i'm not even really a big fan of the kelvin movies um i think in terms of the movies like and what i think would be good to see as a standalone Star Trek movie in the future. Like, obviously, there's a a better option than between the two of those. But I think um, the main thing I would say is a Kelvin movie because it it sounds like a better opportunity for just like a one off uh, Star Trek adventure boss fight time. Oh, crap. Um, so yeah, I, I would probably pick that. Um, obviously though, I mean, I think, look at that, we beat the boss. We still have so many movie questions. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think just a standalone, like, adventure, similar to, you know, Beyond kind of was like that, you know, something even more so though, and I think they've gotten back to kind of the fun more simplistic not simplistic but you know more um novel star trek adventures that are i don't know more exciting more unique than just uh the goofiness of the kelvin movies uh so yeah i don't know we have a lot more movie questions here um I, uh, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll answer them in the next one. Obviously, you can leave your TV questions, but I will answer more of the movie ones in the next one. I think I was going through them kind of slow, because, uh, whew, that was a, that was a really tough dungeon to play and to think and answer questions in, I gotta be honest. But we got through it, and I, uh, I just had to do a little bit of, I died once, did some backtracking, um gonna have to restock up on potions before the next one uh so we'll do i'll probably just do that uh by the next video maybe i'll travel down there i'll travel down near the next dungeon how about that let's use the flute to kind of get around we'll show off some of the flute and i'll do one more question and uh then we'll then we'll call it how about that let's play this flute so, Billy Naylor asks, are you a fan of the Zucker Abrams Zucker movies such as Kentucky Fried Movie, uh, Airplane, Top Secret, or The Naked Gun? Uh, yeah, I, um, I particularly like, I like Airplane alright, um, but I, I did really, I love, I love the Naked Gun movies, uh, those, those are really funny movies to me, uh, you know, I the some of the other ones not as much of a fan, uh, but what I you know the ones I do know I do really like. Um, you know what? I'll do another one. Corey, hey Corey, 
Lord of the Rings is incredible. We got a lot of Lord of the Rings support. Um, also love Catch Me If You Can. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, what do you think is next? Oh, this is a big question. What do you think is next for the future of movies after this era of extended cinematic universes and movie-like limited series on streaming platforms? Uh, that's another one that's like, that's hard on, on the spot to say. I think, um, for one, I mean, especially we have a lot of like, I think the fate of streaming is not yet set in stone. Um, there's definitely a lot of, it seems to be financially a lot of issues with this current model, um, that, you know, you see the, the companies talking about all the time, but also, um, right now there's all the, all the strikes and things that are going on. So I feel like, um, the, you know, it's, it's, I'm bringing up the financial element first, but I feel like, uh, you know, it's, that's going to be, uh, that's going to determine how a lot of these things are presented. Uh, not just, you know, how, like having these limited series and stuff have uh, have gone creatively, I guess. Which I'm not also not really too much of a big fan of, but we'll see. Because right now I'm not sure between, sh like, if the current model... You know, that, that honestly determines a lot of the way, like, TV and movies are produced, and I feel like it's not sustainable, but I'm not an expert, so we'll see. Um... Actually, that's our last question. So there, we did it. Well, let's do this really cool thing uh, that uh, we got a hint for at some point, I think. Or maybe I missed it. Oh, yeah, you know what? I think the hint was in that dungeon. I think there's one way I didn't go. But anyway, we're here at this mysterious pond. And there you have it. There is our next dungeon which we'll be diving into next time uh leave questions about tv <laughs> all right goodbye <laughs>